A step-by-step -step guide on how to use Genome Synteny Viewer, also known as GSV. To begin, upload your Data Synteny file by clicking on the Choose File button, as indicated by the red arrow. This Synteny file is the only required input necessary to run GSV and will allow you to specify the genomic coordinates of each conserved region. The following is an example of a GSV Synteny file format. The Synteny file format consists of a seven-column tab-deliminated text file. Column 1 stores the identifier of the first genome for comparison. Column 2 stores the start coordinate of the conserved region on the first genome. Column 3 stores the end coordinate of the conserved region on the first genome. Column 4 stores the identifier of the second genome for comparison. Column 5 stores the start coordinate of the conserved region on the second genome. Column 6 stores the end coordinate of the conserved region on the second genome. Column 7 stores the score. This is a numerical measurement of how conserved the regions are, for example, an alignment score. Note that data for multiple pairs of genomes can be stored in one single file. This makes it convenient to analyze multiple data sets. That is, users do not have to upload different data sets separately. GSV also allows the option to upload an annotation file. The annotation file allows users to list genomic features, for example genes, to be displayed as annotation tracts. The following is an example of a GSV annotation file format. The annotation file is a nine-column tab-delimited text file. Column 1 stores the identifier of the reference genome. Column 2 stores the start position of the genomic feature. Column 3 stores the end position of the genomic feature. Column 4 stores the strand orientation of the genomic feature. For example, a plus sign is used for a sense strand, and a negative sign is used for the reverse complementary anti-sense strand. Column 5 stores the feature name, for example, the identifier of a particular gene. Column 6 stores the feature value. This column is typically applied to features that are associated with some numeric value. For example, microarray hybridization intensity for measuring gene expression level, which can be used for an XY plot. Column 7 stores the track name. Column 8 stores the track shape. Users can choose from a list of predefined shapes. Column 9 stores the track color. Users can choose from a list of predefined colors. Note that, like the Synteny file, multiple genomes can be stored in one single file. Also note, column 4, 5, and 6 may contain a dot if the data is neither available nor applicable. GSV also allows users to enter an email address. If the user's email address is submitted, the user will be notified through an email which consists of two URL links, one to the GSV display page of the current data and the other to access all the previously submitted data sets from the same user. By clicking the history link, the user will be directed to a history page that contains previously submitted data sets from the same user. Clicking on the file links will direct the user to the data set that was submitted on that occasion. After uploading desired files and clicking Submit, GSV will redirect to the visualization page. The top block of this page contains one genome of reference, and the bottom block contains the other genome of reference. In order from top to bottom are the features of this page. The top genome title bar, top genome annotation tracks, top genome control bar, the top genome, the Synteny display, the bottom genome, bottom genome control bar, bottom genome annotation tracks, and the bottom genome title bar. The drop-down menus located within the annotation tracks allow the ability to select different shapes and colors on the fly. The user may also drag and drop individual tracks to move them to change the order. To display the two entire genomes, 
click the Get Complete Region button. A drop down menu for Filter Sentinae Regions allows the ability to specify Sentinae scores that are displayed. The Change Sentinae Regions Between fields allows users to select specific regions on each genome for a customized display. Additional display customization for each gene can be accomplished with the Zoom In and Out and the Pan Left and Right buttons. When the cursor is placed over any area of the conserved regions, a menu will show the boundaries of the corresponding regions on each genome. The user can also click on the Click Here to zoom into the neighborhood to change the display. By clicking on the annotation track names within the genome title bar, the annotation track display can be turned off and on. The conserved genomic regions can be viewed as blocks or lines. At the top of the page, there is a Select the Reference and Query Organism menu. This allows the ability to switch between different pairs of compared genomes if there are multiple in the data set. An image of the data set can be created and saved. This image can be customized by turning different features on and off, followed by clicking the Create button. The image will be displayed in a new window.